Hi. So, how many of you actually holds a credit card and uses it in your everyday life? May I have a show of hands? Right. Okay. I believe that all of you have done shopping at bazaars, hop on a taxi, or ask for an electrician to come to your house and found out that you do not have enough cash in hand. And how of you how many of you have actually got robbed by some thugs where you have quite a fair bit of cash in your pocket and hope that you do not need to carry so much cash around. I did. I remember when I was young. <coughs> I was waiting for my friend in the bus stop. I got robbed. I had a sharp knife on my back and I have no choice but to hand them my wallet and they took all my money. I was frustrated. Deep down inside me, I was wishing for a cashless society to come into reality. So, I wanted to make a change. <clears throat> when I was 10, my dad passed me a book which, I call, uh, which is called Basic 1, 2, 3. I was so fascinated with the gibberish words inside and I jumped and dived deeper into this area and found my destiny interest, which I developed it into my I developed it as my passion in technology, which later transitioned into career and became my dream. Which is, I want to change the world with technology and also bring cashless society into reality. But the reality is cruel. I spent long time searching for my path to reach my goal. So, during one of my quiet moments, my mentor showed me something which I call the three circles. In the three circles, he wrote passion, organization need, and trend. Then he explained, in life, no matter what you do, you have to look into these three factors, be it your career decision or judging an opportunity. So, what is the three circles? Passion. It's something that you love to do and you will not stop doing. Organization need is where your company needs something or something that your society definitely needs. And be it a problem that you need to solve. And trend is something popular where that time it was the start of mobile computing where Angry Bird was very popular. I believe every one of you played Angry Bird, right? So, and finding your sweet spot is the intersection between all these three factors together. So, it got me thinking, how can I use technology and impact life? So, <clears throat> a lot of people ask me, how did I start out with source space? It is where luck is when preparation meets opportunity. I met Chiu Sun. He is the founder of source space and he got me into the team. During one of the data rate session with him, he shared his idea about mobile payments and how it can impact the society. So our problem was simple. Not all businesses can accept credit card payment. Why? This thing is called the EDC terminal. It is very expensive. So for the bank to give it to all the small businesses, they will either need to ask the businesses, you will need to give me a minimum transaction, which is equal to X amount of money. And also they will and force the, they will let the merchants to pay a very high rental fee. So what happened to all these small businesses? They are not able to accept credit card anymore, which is why when you jump onto a taxi or go to the night market, everyone only accept cash. So our vision is to allow everyone to be able to accept card payment anywhere, anytime, securely. Okay, to summarize what, I do, um, what we do in SourceSpace, here is an advertisement that my customer, Bank of New Zealand, shot. stops, so does everything else. Payclip is an innovative new device that lets your smartphone or tablet take payments on the spot. So instead of waiting months to be paid, your money goes straight where it belongs, into your business account. Payclip, only at BNZ. To register, visit bnz.co.nz. BNZ, be good with money. Usually, when you purchase something from a shop, <clears throat> you will give your credit card to the shop owner 
and they will store it into a big, chunky, single-use machine like this. So what we do in SourceSpace is to turn a mobile phone. So, the mobile, so now the shop owners will just need to use their mobile phone, plug in an electronic card reader like this, slot in your credit card, run your application, key in the figure, and pay. That's it. So, for the first six to eight months of our operation, we have been knocking on multiple doors, banks, and financial institutions. They are not very receptive of the idea. By the end of 2012, we gotten our first deployment in Thailand. From there on, the idea of accepting credit card on your mobile phone, on the owner, shop owner's mobile phone, started spreading. And these are the countries that we have stepped foot in. So, now, even a shoe seller at the night market in Thailand are able to accept card payment. We are releasing our dream of cashless society through technology. <clears throat> Founding SourceSpace, innovating the product is the baby steps towards achieving my dream of cashless society and hitting my sweet spot. So, I can do it, you can do it too. Everyone have a sweet spot when you find it you will be able to unleash your greatest potential.